welcome, welcome, welcome to What's Up and About. Now, we know um, it's been hard for me as a person to adapt to these current age realities. But <laughs> I understand that um, change is the most constant thing. And if you, don't, if you don't evolve, if you don't adapt, if you don't change, you will die, as it were. And dying in this term, I don't mean literal terms, but of course, when you are not in time, when you are far back in time, you've lost, you've lost it as it is. Social media, when I look at some, <clears throat> how a lot of celebrities have come up to be celebrated these days, then you had to do a bit more than just having talent. You'd have to show talent. You'd have to, I mean, think about the celebrities I grew up knowing. People like Michael Jackson, you know, people like um, MC Hammer. You know, celebrities, and uh, you, you needed to have to show something that you could do something. I mean, I think about Nicolas Cage, you know, but now you can just be a celebrity just by keeping your face somehow and doing something and all of that. And tomorrow, oh, everybody knows you, you're a celebrity. That's the age, that's the social media age that we are in now. And so it's been hard for me to keep up to that. And so in the whole world, many people have their lives out there. And when you live, have your life out there, you are giving people fodder for discussions as such. Mm -hmm. And today we have something quite interesting. M.M. is going to give us the deets on that one. Okay. Um, is she popular? Would I say she's popular? I'll just leave it at Nigerian singer and influencer, right? And social media sensation, Kura Obidi. Um, she's known to be a dancer and a singer. And uh, <clears throat> two days ago, her husband came on social media with a long, um, with a screenshot of messages, with a screenshot of messages alleging that Coral Beattie was having an affair while pregnant for their second child. Mm. And, um, well, the conversations in the, in, the, in, the, in the screenshot of messages, you could, you know, depicted that. Coral Beattie came forward yesterday and denied the claims that her exchanged husband is looking for or seeking for attention. And he's an attention seeker, um, sort of even insinuated him to be a narcissist and um, denied the claim. But because social media is a very interesting place, mm. especially the X platform, <laughs> they went to an interview that she did some time ago. Mm drew up the conversation and yeah. posted it. And in that interview, she, con she, she admitted. Uh, admitted, rather, mm. thank you, to dabbling. She referred to it as dabbling, yeah. you know, into some, into some things, yeah, yeah. while she was married. While she was married, yeah. Yeah. But in the video she made yesterday, she said she was 100% faithful and loyal to him while they were married. Should be told, I remember back then when the issue started, she actually she trended, admitted exactly. that. Exactly. Yes. She trended during that she period. She did something. Yeah. She, yes. did, she did say yes. it. So, but then, um, you know, everybody can say maybe they said things on that duress or, or whatnot. But it's quite interesting, you know, because um, the details of the text, as she said, that were doctored, were quite intriguing. And people came up to the phone and said, how can a woman who is five months pregnant, pregnant be going out of that way? I don't know. Medically, they say that's the time a woman needs something like that even more. I'm not, I, hey, maybe smiling. But you see, my point now I'm trying to make is this here. When you bring out your life and then put up everything like this, I mean, it so happens so that I, I feel like, so my feeling and my thought is that they, you should have limits to what you put out, out there to every single person. Now, before this time, they, are, they were a couple that were you yeah, know, let's not very happy. Last week, okay. she was. Um, she said she was attacked. Okay, yeah, she yeah. She was attacked. Yeah, she was attacked. With acid and a knife. <laughs> and the people started asking that. Huh? <laughs> that is your face. We not see. She said maybe it was salicylic acid, but it's not funny. But <laughs> she said she was attacked, attacked yeah. with yeah. an acid and a knife. And she even did a live at the time when the attack took place. She was actually um, uh, having a live yeah. um, session on Instagram, yeah. and then you know, yeah. So maybe she doesn't want to bring herself into the discussion, so. Yeah, no, like, I'm not even understanding where to enter from <laughs> or why to enter. I cannot see the door. Oh, but, but my point is, like, Break your window when in. I'm thinking about it, right, when I think about this, I'm like, okay, fine, okay, the husband I'm posting, me, they've separated Abby. Mm, but I think there's still an issue with custody and all of okay, that. Okay, but they are, they are, at least they've agreed to go their separate ways. It's kind of, but now, you know, they are co-parenting. Kind of, okay. They are co-parenting, that's one. And then 
a lot of their lives where social media gave them validity. Yeah. A lot. Mm -hmm. And so, relevance. Relevance. Mm -hmm. And so it, it's not out of, uh, out, out of uh, we, you know, to think that they would still want some sort of relevance and validity on social because people will still be... No, yeah, so that's the thing. So, so for me, as much as, yeah, I, I, don't, I honestly don't understand that part because, fine, you were together as a couple. Like, now, we have so many couples on social media. To be honest, I didn't even know it was so many. I'm doing, like, videos of their lives, how they live, oh, my husband, like, husband and wife, like, coupling mm. and, like, putting out content, you understand, together and all of that. That was not necessarily their case. But then again, no matter the level at which they got... If you're putting out content, oh, a lot. That's what I'm saying now. I don't think... The, I, well, yeah, but I'm saying no matter how much they put our content together as a couple, as a couple right? Yeah. When you're splitting, at that point, are you... So is, is that still the focus, like... Because you're doing, um, like, for, I don't know, to be honest, for me, it's just a whole lot. Because I feel, okay, fine, you said to go your separate ways. I feel this Why is actually a process that is mm. actually painful. And, like, everyone should literally be reflecting and probably thinking back and all of that. All this coming up here. Because I saw the video, the last thing I even heard about her was a video about her, um, that, that they poured acid on her. And then she was asking for coke to wash her face. And then um, the, the, she was recording the yellow knife, very pretty knife, on the floor. And all of that, and I couldn't understand it. And I'm like, I thought, the acid I know, Sha, it works in a different way, and all of that. So it was just funny. And then I think what even, because when I heard about it, I was like, oh, okay, fine, it can't be this bad. Then I saw a video of her sister talking about how her sister just called her, that she was attacked. And this is, to me, the sister's story wasn't necessarily, it wasn't just, it was I'm like, your sister just called you, story. she was, <laughs> yes, now, she just, she just called you, that she's on her way to the, to the hospital now, she's being like, but you're there, you're like, you don't, you get on, what are you doing, talking to what? She should literally be heading to the hospital. She's on her way to the hospital now, and all of that, so it's I just, I don't uh, think, I don't think they were in the same location. It's, whatever it is, I don't know, but this, um, I just think the... Social media, this it, need for social media validation is know. becoming a syndrome. I don't mm. know. And I'm hoping that over time someone will find a name for this, for this condition because it is a condition. Mm. It's... Everyone now feels the need, not everyone actually, because not everyone, but um, let, in, in case, case of study here, Cora, which of course, going back to the incident mm. where she was attacked, until you were attacked, Mm. She was still, oh my God, oh my God, I've been attacked. The first thing I want to do is rush to the hospital mm. instead of let people know what the situation is. <laughs> now, coming back to this matter, <laughs> coming back to this uh, husband's matter, uh -huh. it's as if they have spent too much time on social media that she has infected the husband. <laughs> so any little thing, he, wants... he feels the need to come out and tell the My world is, that attack I understand what is you. happening. What would you want that the early morning they wake up, now put camera and now go back and sleep? <laughs> and last time I look, <laughs> just woke up. <laughs> How does that one happen? Wait, you wake up, you set the camera, Mike, it's so like, Mike, Mike, it's not content creation. <laughs> they, That's how no, no, no. Yeah, I leave you standing. The person is showing you. Hey, hey, don't do. Yeah. <laughs> the person is showing you the day of your life. What, That's what, what, somewhere now. What I quickly need to say <laughs> about this is, I think they both need to see therapists. They're obviously going through different traumas. He's going through his trauma, trauma and she's going through hers. Just see a therapist. See a therapist, guys. Okay. and deal with this okay. without this, you know, social okay. media friends. We're about, we're about to end what's up and about. <laughs> Emma just finished talking. We're about to go and break. My director and my producer are calling for us. My fans online. Ooh, ah, go yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Content creation. Mm. <laughs> it's it's <real>. <laughs>